Today we're gonna solve humanity's oldest question. How many balloons does it take to crash my computer? And that all starts with this guy, as suspicious as he looks. I like to put these ones here, that way they can fire straight down the barrel. Plus, he's gonna get sharp shot, so he should be able to take out this level all by himself. And we're even gonna speed it up, because this is all it's gonna be. He did so good that I'm not going to sell him right away. I'm not really sure who or what Quincy is, but I'm gonna put him right here, that way he can also fire straight down there. And that's gonna look something like this. Nothing's gonna be too challenging just yet but we've already earned ourselves another $50. Then while we're at it, our monkeys can now pop two balloons per shot. So there we go, it's just that easy. Next, I'm gonna add one of these spiky idiots right here, that way they can help to thin out the herd as they're approaching these two. Plus, I need things like this to start getting experience, that way we can upgrade them into better and better things. The balloons are starting to sneak by, but it's really no problem. Our basic monkey can now shoot 15% faster. Then with our next $310, I'm gonna add another pink octopus right here, because that again is gonna help thin things out. We just hit level four, and before you know it, we'll have so many monkeys and balloons doing so many things that the game is just going to crash. Would also probably be wise to save up a little of my hard-earned money for a bomb. At each level, we're going to get more and more balloons, which is going to mean more and more experience, which is going to mean more and more upgrades. And already, we can afford our first cannon, so we're going to put that there. The balloons tend to be the most bunched up right at the beginning. That's going to help thin them out early on and make them nice and slow for these idiots. They kind of need the help. So far, so good. Then while I'm at it, I'm going to put a freezy guy right about here. That way he's going to help the balloons further bunch up. And then the cannon's going to thin out a whole bunch of them all at once. But I've also got 552 XP, so I'm going to upgrade these guys to fire more attacks all at once. And maybe also faster shooting, because those are going to help me out. Because their upgrades are actually pretty cheap. Only $85 for this one. That's only $125, which we're going to get right now. And my freezing and bomb idiots are working a good combination. Look at them go. They're going to thin out the balloons way before they even get to the tax. We're also going to make our basic monkeys 33% faster because I should probably add a few more of those. We've only got six units on the ground and that's not a lot. But there's level five and we've unlocked the boomerang monkey already. So that means we should probably throw another cannon down right about here. And also give those guys some bigger bombs. That way they can have a nice bit of overlap on each other. Now hopefully the balloons will have a little bit more trouble getting through even the beginning. Earning about $400 a level right now, that number is going to get big fast. Then we're going to give our ear muffering bandit here enhanced freeze that way they attack faster and freeze things for longer that's going to pair very nicely with the cannon because i just like exploding things and if everything is frozen right here they'll get blown up fairly quickly also bigger bombs and we're starting to get into the heart balloons and those ones will regenerate health if we don't kill them quickly i put a few more upgrades onto this little guy basically he pops more balloons and can fire a lot quicker not that you can really see at this point but that will make a difference do we even want a boomerang monkey i mean well maybe just throw him down here to catch any stragglers that happen to make it through because there's always going to be some of them. And we also got a glue gunner that's going to slow balloons by 50%. That sounds great at the beginning, so they can also get frozen and cannoned. Look at the radius on this guy. We're actually going to put him maybe right here. That way he can get everyone starting, but if anyone makes it here, they'll also get glued before making their way to the exit. And we're starting to pop a ton of balloons every level, so we'll figure out how much money we're making already. Not as much as you'd think, about $400 per level. That's not good enough. Next, we're gonna take heavy bombs. They can smash you two layers of balloons. And as you might be able to tell, I'm going a little bit cannon heavy at the beginning, because why not? Though I'm probably gonna have to start adding a few more monkeys along the way, because the balloons are making a little bit further than I'd like. And once they start to get past a certain point, they'll just keep on trucking. So let's see if we can freeze a few more right here. And while we're at it, we're also going to give them permafrost. Balloons move slowly even after thawing out. So now they're going to be extra efficient at slowing the balloons down. The slower they go, the more we're going to kill. We're currently around 26, and so far nothing is really posing too much of a threat yet. But it's going to escalate quickly, so I need to be sure to continually add all sorts of monkeys, like a sniper monkey. And the best part about these guys is you can put them basically anywhere on the map and they'll still hit the balloons. So I can put them way out here where they're out of the way. Then let's add another one of these right here to help thin out all the balloons along the way. What I'm really after is the banana farm because that's basically an investment. If I have one of those in the beginning of the game, I can make ridiculous amounts of money fairly early on to get ridiculous defenses. Not that I really need the help at this point, but you can never have too much stuff going on on screen or too much money. I just want to own all the monkeys in the world. And now we're starting to get into the lead balloons and those can only be blown up by explosions. Then we're going to have to make sure to have lots of cannons on hand. I think we need another cannon probably right about here to help thin out some of those balloons basically i want to thin out and slow down as much of the balloons as possible here because these guys can take care of them very easily and the cannons are earning lots of experience so i'm going to get really big bombs to 3000 experience and then faster reloads also you know what all of my towers have been earning all sorts of experience so i'm going to take a sec to upgrade all of them right now or at least unlock the upgrades for them the sniper monkey is going to earn his money 
Shots pop through four layers of bloom, and all sorts of other things, whatever he can have it. My little basic monkey here isn't getting a ton of experience because not a ton of the balloons make it that far over to where he can even reach them right now. Sniper, full metal jacket. Uh, good thing I have that other guy there because no one else can see the camo balloons right now, and that's kind of alarming because there's only a few monkeys that can take care of these. But I'm glad he's on his A game right now. But it's not going to take very much experience to get my sniper monkey to detect camo balloons. But also for now, I'm going to upgrade my glue monkey because that's going to slow down a whole bunch of balloons. And the slower they go, the easier they are to kill. And we've unlocked the drunken monkey buccaneer. But we don't have any water to put him on. But actually, while we're at it, we need to put the flying monkey somewhere. I'm not really sure how these ones work. So he can go there. So he circles that kind of on and off the map. So that maybe wasn't the wisest placement of him. But at least we learned something. Or at least we're going to pretend to have learned something. Morning camo balloons. Got it. We'll take care of those as soon as I can. Which is basically right now. Night vision goggles. Absolutely. Then we're going to go ahead and buy that upgrade for him. Now camo balloons aren't really a problem anymore. Our basic monkey is now going to get turned into a spike bolt Because if he fires a spike bolt straight down here, it pops everything all the way along. That's probably a little better in the earlier levels, but even now it can still do some good. And we're finally starting to earn some money every level. As long as I get a thousand dollars, I can give these guys the bigger bombs. And we want the bigger bombs. That one was close. A lot of camo balloons made it all the way to here, so I might need another sniper monkey. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the ceramic balloons are here. The cannon should take care of them fairly easily. Luckily, I have quite a few of those at this point. And they can fire really big bombs. We've got some big balloons coming in next, so I'm definitely going to unlock something better for the cannons, especially these guys in particular, because those can be a lifesaver. But I also need to go a different upgrade route to get those, but we'll be fine until then. We'll be able to blow this thing up with no problem. Well, that made it a little further than I'm comfortable with, but next round won't be so bad. And that was actually level 40 already. We popped 12,222 balloons, but I want to be popping 12,222 balloons every round. I have one dollar currently i need 765 to get the moa baller and i definitely gonna need that after what i saw last round but it's only gonna take a second to get there because look at that money going up we went all the way from zero to 765 just like that sniper monkey's also gonna have faster firing and you know what let's add more explosives Explosives can't hurt, right? These rainbow camo balloons are making me a little uncomfortable. Those got a long ways along. So we'll just add more cannons and hope for the best. So far, so good. I just need to keep adding units as much as I can to keep the numbers of balloons down. And now we've got fortified balloons coming in. They're even tougher to pop, but I think we're doing all right thanks to my massive amounts of explosives. Has my pilot even popped anything so far? Well, I'm going to give him faster shooting just so we can have some kind of usefulness as well as popping more balloons at once. But with my next bit of Money, I think I'm gonna try the heli pilot because I feel like I can control that one and that sounds helpful to me. Look at that money going up though. There's 2,500, but the levels are clearly getting a little bit harder than they were before. Hopefully those sniper monkeys are busy. I assume this will be the same. Okay, so he just follows the cursor around. Right. Uh, does he not do anything once he's there? You want to shoot stuff? All right, well, I guess he's just going to hang out for now, and that's just fine. We're definitely saving up lots of money, so that's a good sign. Clearly, our things have been fairly well placed so far, because we've got $4,400 to spare right now. I've set my helicopter more on to patrol from there to there, just because that might have some use for him. And we still have so much to unlock. We're only at round 48. I think I'm going to close the rest of this with some of these guys, because these will really help thin things out around these corners. Especially if I give them more attacks and faster shooting. And you know what? I'm going to try and throw a bomb in the middle of all that. That way, this is really a circle of death for all the balloons going through. So as long as the really tough ones are taken out at the beginning as they're coming around this bend, these guys should annihilate everything left at that point. At least for now. So far, so good. Nothing even made it past the freezy guys. So I'm going to add another one of them, hoping that they're actually the uh, catalyst for why I'm doing as well as I am right now. Then add another bomb tower because I still have $3,500 left over to spend. We're going to throw him right here and then give him all the upgrades he could ever want. And that's going to leave us somewhere here where I can hardly even see the balloon so far. But it is still only round 50. I didn't realize we get to pick at this point. I want the mortar monkey. One, because I can put them uh, wherever I want and they're out of the way. And two, because I can set the target for where I want them to bomb. And they're going to bomb right here. And they'll do that regardless if it, there's any balloons there or not. So they'll hit the camel ones all the time too, which is very helpful. Oh, this level is definitely harder than I thought. Let's slow it down a little bit. And um, uh oh. Uh, add one of these here and one of these here and also one of never mind. Okay, we need to do that again. But now that I've got the upgrades, I think I could do it a little better. I've made it back to where I was. In fact, I've completed round 51. I did lose a few lives on the last level because it was pretty hard, but we're going to continue on. 
especially considering I've got two super monkeys now and those are gonna make a huge difference because super monkeys can basically do it all themselves if I let them. As long as they can see camel balloons, I could probably just go just with them. But we're definitely also making a decent amount of money now. We're making $1,000 per round. But we're also getting a lot of the moabs and ceramic balloons, so I need more explosives and things that can take those out. But we're also starting to get some pretty good upgrades for a lot of our different things. Even our basic monkeys now can see the camel balloons, and that's pretty helpful. Levels like this, I wasn't really prepared for this early on. Hopefully those snipers are a little bit busier than I think they're going to be, otherwise I'm completely boned here. And I'm going to have to restart all over once again and rethink my entire strategy because we're dead. And here we are again, back at roughly where we left off, level 53. Went for a bit of a different strategy this time, mostly in that I have a whole bunch of freezies grouped up together here, which seems to be working a little better. And now they can hit camel balloons too. So they all get taken care of right here instead of busting through till the end. We're making lots of money, but it is getting harder and harder and I need lots of boa ballers, so I'm sure to stop everything right at the beginning. I wasn't sure how well this strategy was going to work, but so far, so good. Especially thanks to all my upgrades I've been getting along the way. And now that I can make it into some of these deeper levels, we're going to get more and more experience every level because there's more and more balloons, and that means more and more money. And I'm actually going to take a super monkey and put it right at the beginning because I need these guys to start getting lots of experience. As soon as I can find a spot to put idiot. Perfect, I can squeeze them in right here because these guys' upgrades are worth a lot, so I need them to be killing as many things as possible. And that's going to work out nicely because already in this first round, he's killed 400 balloons. 400 all by himself. The other one in total has done 1600 and I've had him forever. That was the first bigger Moab thing, but it didn't last very long. But given that those are in the way, we're going to add more of the Moab bombs. And that's really going to help things not get past the beginning. I don't want them to get anywhere near past the first 10 feet. I'm at the point now where I'm making lots of money and I'm not really sure what the most efficient thing to do is, so I'm probably just gonna keep smashing units in everywhere. The game is still running pretty fine, but it's still only round 63. And these mortars really are great, because they'll just continue raining bombs right on the giant freezy spot, and now we can have things like bigger blast. We've got four of them, but I feel like five is probably better. Five big blasts all raining down on the super freezy spot. And it's hard to really see if that made much of a difference, though those things are kind of getting through, so that's a little alarming. We're gonna need more explosives. Kinda starting to run out of real estate here at the beginning, but every bomb is gonna make a big, big difference. And this is good. Our super monkey can already upgrade to laser eyes, so we're gonna have laser-eyed super monkeys from here on out for $2,125, but that shouldn't take long at all, provided balloons actually spawn in for me to kill. And I think they both deserve this very powerful upgrade. Okay, these balloons this time made it way closer than I wanted them to, so I'm gonna need more camo detection. It doesn't have to be a ton, but we do need more camo detection. Round 71, and we're still going strong. Once again, my wizard's properly upgraded, we'll be able to see camo balloons permanently as soon as it passes them. And maybe just for some insurance, I'm gonna put one of these monkeys maybe right here, because they can also detect the camo balloons, and those camo balloons are definitely making me nervous. The game is still running completely fine at this point, and that's a little disappointing. We've still got a long ways to go. So let's add a few more mortar monkeys. The more explosions we can be raining down right here, the better. That seems to be working out pretty good. Even the big Moabs seem to disappear pretty much right away, so I don't really have to stress about them too much. Then I added another three mortar teams, because I feel like that can't hurt. Like I say, the more damage going in right at the beginning, the better off we're all going to be. So far, I can't even see the things. They're kind of exploding as soon as they appear on screen. Except for this big red guy, but even those are disappearing fairly quick. Maybe I should just do mortars across the entire map at this point. I don't know if that would be a good or a bad idea, but it's certainly an idea. Uh, or this could be trouble. Uh, can you upgrade to take out those really quick? Shoot them. No, okay, that went from 0 to 100 real quick. I think one thing that would have made a huge difference there is this wizard right here identifying camel balloons. So that way, these would have just been regular balloons at that point, but I haven't unlocked it yet. And just like that, we're back to about where we were at level 79. The levels are getting a little bit tough, but we're making do with more or less the same layout we had before, but with a few upgrades to some units. Namely, the super monkeys with knockback. So not only can they see camel balloons, but as they hit balloons, they actually knock them back, and that's going to keep them in this area where all the damage is, right at the beginning. And now my mortars are doing extra damage and going through extra layers, and my snipers now do extra damage to the ceramics. Also, I've got a potion throwing idiot throwing potions and acid onto all the frozen balloons. It helps dissolve them all. And we also have a druid. He's going here and probably not going to be very useful at all. Oh, and we're into these guys now, the ZOMGs. That means I'm also going to add more bomb towers to hopefully help take these out because we're going to need lots of damage to be able to hit these because they're very tough. Luckily, my mortars are helping a lot for those, but 
those balloons made it way closer than I'm comfortable with. But other than that, the levels should go pretty reasonably until suddenly they won't and I'll be completely overrun. They're either super easy or way too hard. But I make about $5,000 per level, so that's going to be good for money and experience. I've even gone ahead and added a super monkey down here who's primarily going to get all the stragglers that managed to get past. Hopefully there's none, and if there are, he can take care of them. But by then, it might be too late. But good news, I think the banana farms are the next thing to unlock. $3,500, we probably just need more mortars. I mean, that actually seems to be working out really well. I'm just covering everything with explosions. To the point where I can't really even see what's going on down there. I'm just making a lot of money and hearing a lot of stuff blow up. I do want to continually add these guys with deadly precision. That way they can really hurt their ceramics, and we can still make them fire pretty quickly. That's expensive, but worth it. Other than that, mortars. With maybe the occasional super monkey thrown in. Okay, we got another oh my god coming in. But we destroyed that one pretty quickly and we got a second one coming in. But I think we're taking care of these adequately fast. I'm very happy with that result. I was a little nervous. Clearly the mortars are doing their job. I need to place them nice and efficiently so we can get lots of them. Oh, and I can unlock faster reload for them. That would probably make a lot of sense. Now they can all fire even faster for only $425. That one upgrade alone is actually going to uh, add an absurd amount of damage. That's a lot of those things coming in. I better start upgrading these pretty quick or I'm going to be completely overrun. I don't like how far along those are getting. Right? So far we're okay. Just barely. We made it, but just barely. I tried to upgrade the mortars as quick as possible. I didn't have time to get them all. We'll get them on this round though. Things will probably supervise themselves pretty well anyways. I don't need to be involved at this point. Well, they're all upgraded. Things are kind of making it through. So let's put more uh, cannons down to stop the Moabs. Things are still breaking through, but there's just so many balloons coming through that it's hard to physically stop them all. We're gonna need more units. What are those things? I've never seen these before and I might be boned here. Nope, thanks to my snipers, we just snuck by on that. I don't know what those were though. Whatever they were, they were very fast. They snuck by all my initial defenses. I didn't realize there was anything that fast. We can afford the next super monkey upgrade. Plasma vaporize almost everything it touches. I like the sound of that. Now I just need a few more dollars to be able to actually afford it. But that didn't take long at all considering how much money we have. And now he's a cyclops looking thing that's absolutely annihilating everything in front of him. I'm gonna upgrade all the super monkeys to that. Uh, unless this level defeats me. Which, all the way to level 92. We did get almost a million balloons though. I was hoping to get over a million, but at least we have the upgrades for next time. 